Hey everyone, it's Colin here at eTrailer, and today we have a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe. We're going to do a test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system. Now this is a roof rack system that's been designed by Thule to mount to the flush mount side rails of your Santa Fe. It's going to allow you to get your favorite rooftop accessories loaded up, whether it's a bike rack, kayak carrier, maybe even a rooftop cargo box. With those accessories on your roof, it's going to create more space on the inside of your vehicle for passengers, maybe some elbow and leg room. And especially with those bigger items like a kayak, more times than not, you're probably not going to be able to get it in your vehicle anyway. So being able to get that on your roof, is going to make the world a difference. Now up top, we have our 47 inch long wing bar Evo crossbars. We have these in black right now, but they're also available in silver. So if you think that'll match your Santa Fe better, just go ahead and check out our website. We got both available. Now, what's nice is that we have a nice aerodynamic shape to our crossbars. This is going to help cut down on that wind noise and drag, especially when you compare it to a standard square or round bar roof rack system. Go and flip open that cap. We have a channel right here where we can mount T-slot accessories. And what's nice is that Tui's kind of making an upgrade to these bars. We, don't, we no longer have to pull the rubber strips out and then cut them to length. We can just slide our accessory in between the both strips to our desired location, tighten it down, and we'll just bring the end cap back up, close it, and now we're good to go. Now right here we have our Thule Podium Foot Pack. This is what's connecting our crossbars to our race side rails. Along with our fit kit, I'm going to go ahead and take this little flat-headed trim panel tool and get this lock off, pull the end cap off. Right here, this rubber coated bracket is our fit kit for the Hyundai Santa Fe. It's made to match the contours of our raised side rails and clamp down on them very nicely. That rubber coating is not gonna harm or scratch the finish of your raised side rail. So it's gonna be in good shape in case you ever wanna take this off of your roof. I wanna put the end cap back on. Like I said, take a flat headed tool, which such as a screwdriver, this trim panel tool, maybe even a coin. We have these plastic locks included with the podium foot pack, but you can replace them with the same key system from Thule. That'll just provide more security for your roof rack. Now I'm gonna give you guys a few measurements. First, from the top of our roof to the bottom of our wing bar, it's gonna be three and three quarters of an inch. Should be more than enough space to get your clamp-on accessories under your wing bars without risking damaging the top of your roof, whether it's the paint job or the moon roof that we have on this Santa Fe. Now if we go from the top of our roof to the top of our wing bar, it's gonna be four and three quarters of an inch. Just wanna keep that in mind for any low clearance situations that you have that added height to your roof. Although with the Santa Fe, you probably won't run into that too often, but it's always something to keep in mind. Our wing bar system is gonna have a weight capacity of 220 pounds, but always make sure you double check with your Santa Fe's owner's manual. Make sure your roof can handle that weight before you load it up. Well, now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you guys how to get this assembled and installed on your Santa Fe. Now I'll go ahead and show you how to get the rear crossbar assembled. We already have the front one assembled and installed. It's gonna be the exact same process for both of them. Real quick, I do wanna point out how I got the front crossbar in place was I just measured from the edge of my flush mounted side rail to the edge of my podium foot on both sides and then I tightened it down. Now I'm just gonna flip my crossbar over. We're gonna take our fit kit bracket right here. That's for our Hyundai Santa Fe. I'm gonna feed it through from the backside right here. And you can see there's a hole right here where I'm gonna thread it in, this bolt. So feed it through there, just get it threaded on. See how it's threaded in there now, it's in that center hole. And tug on it, we know it's good. We're gonna come over here and take our end cap off by pressing down on this tab. Pull the end cap off. Now we'll take our podium foot with our bracket connected to it. The track right here is gonna go into our channel. And push that scale back, just like this. Then we'll put our end cap back on. Now we're ready to get on our roof. We'll just reach it over top, get that far bracket on, and then the same thing over here. Now before we tighten anything down, we're gonna go, to, gonna go ahead and measure our crossbar spread. Now to measure our spread, we're gonna go from the front of our front wing bar to the front of our back wing bar. There's no set measurement. You do wanna make sure you're around 70 centimeters or 27 and a half inches, depending on which unit you're measuring with. 
I would say probably within three or four inches or about 10 centimeters on each side, whether you go bigger or smaller. You can base it off of whatever accessory you might be using. Once we, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to 70 centimeters and we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Now you wanna make sure this rubber coated bracket is sitting under the lip of your flush mounted side rail. And we'll just start tightening it down. What's nice is that tightening down this bolt is also going to lock the podium foot pack inside the channel of your crossbar. So you'll see when I get this fully secured. No need to over tighten it. Just get it pretty snug, go a couple more turns. Far good right there. But like I said, it locks inside the channel. So now I cannot move that crossbar. And you also want to make sure you get the other side tightened down as well. Now from there, we'll just go ahead and put our end caps on. And like I said, just find some type of flat object, coin, screwdriver, maybe even this trim panel tool, lock up that end cap. And then once you're done, it's always a good idea to go ahead and grab a hold of both of your crossbars, give your roof rack a good shake. See that the entire vehicle is moving. We know that our roof rack is secure. So now we're ready to load up our favorite Thule roof rack accessories and then hit the road. Well, thank you all for watching, but that's gonna do it for our test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system on our 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe.